Where'd Krista go? I'm over here! Oh, there you are. <laughs> Underneath all of the stuff. <laughs> we went shopping. Bounty it's time. <laughs> And it's Money Monday. Monday. Money Monday. That's right. <laughs> and we went shopping multiple different places. We had to go grocery shopping for Thanksgiving. And I got to show them the, the big Oh, one, yes. The mother load. <laughs> and by the way, while he does that, we are Jay and Krista, and this is Say I Do Forever. We're all about building up marriages and building up our stockpile. <laughs> and having plenty of toilet paper. <laughs> so the question today is when we had to go out anyway, to go shopping, we started to think, should we, everybody's been talking about, we need to really stockpile, we need to, should we panic? Should we, um, what should we do? Like maybe we need to fill our pantries and make sure that, you know, we have a tiny house, so it's really hard. Uh, we're gonna be <laughs> sleeping with some of this stuff. Yeah. <laughs> but what do you think we should do? You should comment in the um, post below and then um, also we started to figure out and ask ourselves, is prepping biblical? Are there biblical principles? There are some. We found some verses and we found some Proverbs that talk about storing up. So let's name some of those Proverbs. So the first, the first one we're going to uh, throw your way is Proverbs 10.5. It says, He who gathers crops in summer is a prudent son but he who sleeps during harvest is a disgraceful son. So, you know, for such a time as harvest, it's good to stock yeah. up within reason. Yes. Within reason. So uh, it does promote the idea that it is, and that is a normal thing, that uh, the season would come and you're in summer and you're in harvest and yeah. you have an abundance. So then you're going to come to winter where there's not so much of an abundance. So you need to store up. If you are a wise person, you need to store up. Because the second proverb is, sluggards do not plow in season. So at harvest time, they look but have nothing. So basically, they were sleeping all summer and kind of enjoying the beach and kind of just, you know, if they didn't worry about it, and then all of a sudden winter comes, or a, a problem, a tragedy, a, um, a pandemic, or maybe even um, a, a snowstorm. And Something then, bigger than basic life that yeah, happens. Or maybe they lose their job, and then suddenly mm -hmm. they have nothing. And then they look around and they're like, well, I don't have any food. I don't have any money in savings because this has to do with not only groceries, storing up, um, but also uh, having an emergency fund, right. having some money set aside because you know the roof is going to go out in about 10 years. So are you saving for that? You know, That's stuff like that. So being a hard worker, storing up in season, working hard in season, the next proverb says, uh, Proverbs 21 20 says the wise store up choice food and olive oil but fools gulp of theirs down so like if you're making all of the money it's kind of a running theme <laughs> Jay used to work for Pepsi and so he always worked a lot of overtime in the, in summer. the summertime and um, so we made a lot of money in the summer but yep. then not so much in the winter and usually that's when the kids were in school and the kids had um, sports and there was Christmas. Well, school supplies. How many of you have kids that you have to buy school supplies for? Exactly. That's so if you're money. if you're smart, when the money is flowing in, yep. you're storing up either money for those things or you're buying those things ahead of time. You're finding them on sale. Yep. Um, you're doing all of that kind of stuff. So it is wise. And the Bible does back up storing stuff up and being wise and working hard in season. Proverbs uh, 30, 24 says, things on earth are small, yet they are extremely wise. Ants are creatures of little strength, yet they store up their food in summer. If you follow nature, and Jay has a lot of little nature examples out That's in his right. backyard. I, I will have a <laughs> squirrel shirt made eventually, because I love my little squirrels that I can feed and take care of. But and what are I your squirrels helped, doing right now? I help them store up the peanuts. They are busy, busy, busy right now. The, yeah, 
they completely get after it, and they are you watch them, and they're burying them all over the yard, and they're eating some of them, and but they are getting ready for winter. And same with like the proverb says that ants, yep. um, you know, in the summer they can go into the garden, they can go get uh, you know things from all around. They're gathering them, they're bringing them back, and then winter comes, and they all kind of hunker or hibernate or go down and. Yep then they have food stored. So the Bible... Just like yes. we gathered and <laughs> we we're We gathered storing. and we stored. And we're storing. Yeah, yeah we got Within some... Within reason. Yeah, we got some really, really good deals. Um, oh, yeah. We had a really good deal on butter, and right now prices have been so crazy mm -hmm. at the grocery stores that we've kind of held off and just gotten what we needed. And um, when we went today, we thought, oh, it's going to be really, really expensive. And, I mean, we bought a lot, so overall it was expensive. However, we didn't even spend a, a portion of what I thought we would on the amount of stuff that it we got. It surprised us, yeah. And you guys will have to mention in the comments below, you know, are you guys seeing um, prices in grocery stores skyrocket in your area? Or are they kind of medium? Are they, mm -hmm. you know... Uh, plateauing. Well, and they had a they... bunch of sales, and it must be for Thanksgiving. I yeah. don't know because all of a sudden I was like, last week we paid um, a lot of money for butter, and this week, and it was really inexpensive. I mean, it wasn't name brand or anything like that, but we don't need name brand. Um, and we got a ton of it because yeah. I saw it on our like half of the price we paid last week for it. Yeah, it was like closer to four dollars. Last week and this week we go one seventy seven. I yeah, think. Yeah, I mean that's really cheap for in our real area. Butter yeah, in our area. Yeah. Yeah. So. Well, the same thing with the chocolate chips too. Yeah, we they were, were like they, they were, were really, really high. Yeah, well, they were no. really high last week. And then this week they had them on. They just so, were flying. Yeah, so we've been passing up stuff and not buying it because yeah. it was so expensive. So anyway, so yes, the Bible does uh, kind of back up. Uh, storing stuff right. and being wise, working hard in the right season, yep. um, so that when you are down for a little bit, uh, like a snowstorm or whatever, um, you've got it all stored up in here. However, the Bible is also very balanced. Um, right. It's very easy to take something out of context and make it mean whatever you want. So you can pretty much take uh, different Bible verses and say, well, this is why, this is what the Bible says. But if you read, it's very important to read the Bible as a whole and know exactly what it says as a complete whole. And what it is, is completely balanced. Um, it's going to say, yes, store up, but then it's going to say not to fear, not to panic. So we have some Bible verses that show the other side that show the perfect balance of yeah. peace. And what are those? The first one is John 16, 33. It says, I have told you these things so that you may have peace. In this world you will have trouble, but take heart, I have overcome the world. And this comes into play as far as Krista's and I relationship as in our marriage, in our finances. You know, we look to God for strength. We um, let him guide us. We um, look to him for wisdom, not our own personal wisdom, but to him for his wisdom and guidance and we don't panic we bought groceries a lot of it is for thanksgiving so well and also we try to we, go medium like you always say yeah go you don't go one extreme or the other you're going to be if you're on this extreme of panic and we hoarding you're not going to be at peace and you're going to be off balance. If you go to this extreme and nonchalant and who cares, I, I don't really need to store up anything um, or worry about anything, and then you're on that extreme. You need to be kind of right in the middle in that yeah. balance. And the Bible is completely balanced yeah. in how it is. Um, sure. The stuff we actually stored up and we bought our stuff that we buy all the time. Oh. And we just got some good deals on it, so we bought extra. We bought larger amounts because they happen to be much cheaper than when we, we were really careful. Um, sometimes we're not big Costco shoppers. I'm going to tell you we're not. <laughs> <laughs> don't don't tell Costco that. But we are not big shoppers when it comes to that because we see so many times where people kind of are starstruck 
or whatever it's called, and they push well, their they're shopping. In, they're, they're in awe. You know, they see the gallon of mayonnaise and they think, oh, what, what a great deal. Well, it's a great deal if you have a family of 12. If you have just two people, you're not going to go through that mayo mm -hmm. and you're going to end up throwing bad. it out and then it's going to cost you more money. So you got to be wise when you shop there too. You know, um, look at the ounces compared to the, the amounts. You know, this is a Money Monday video, so if you want to be wise and, you know, watch what you're purchasing as far as big bulk items. Mm -hmm. You know, if you have a large family, like, well, let's take Roots and Refuge, for example. You know, Jess and Jeremiah, um, I don't know if they have a big box store like Costco there uh, where they live, but, you know, they raise a lot of their own food and everything else. But if they do have a place to go like that, then maybe they buy those things in bulk because they have a huge family to take care of, exactly. you know, but I know them, they're, they're not going to get carried away either. So, and there are things, medium. there are things in those kind of stores that are not really that great of a deal. Right. So look at your ounces, look at all of that kind of stuff. And also only buy what you are already normally buying. Right. And um, don't be right. struck by, oh, what a good deal. And it's something you've never bought before and you don't really use. Yeah, 20 cans of Spam for 15 bucks. <laughs> but cares, do you but eat Spam? <laughs> I mean, I don't. <laughs> yeah, so you want to be careful. <laughs> But yeah, and so for our second verse, um, well, and your first verse also going back to that is that we will have trouble in this world. Right. There is going to be pandemics. There is going to be snowstorms. There is going to be, um, you know, some problems in our government. There are going to be trouble. God already told us, but he says, fear not. He's overcome the world. We right. don't have to worry about that. We know the end of the story. Yeah. And the second verse is Matthew um, 6.19. Do not store up for yourselves treasures on earth where moth and vermin destroy and where thieves break in to steal. So don't, that's basically saying, you know, don't put your trust in your stash. Um, you could have a house fire and lose everything. You could um, have uh, thieves come in. You could have, you know... Also, food just disappears. You can't put value in well, that. And you guys know as well as I, as well as we do. You know, life's gonna happen, but there's no reason to stress over it. It, you just, you roll with the punches. You, you, just focus on what the Lord's doing in your life, and you keep with His peace, His perfect peace, His will, and um, you know as well as I do. This isn't going to be the last pandemic thing that we deal with or the last crisis this world has to offer there's always going to be something there's always going to be something and we can't you know go bury our heads in the sand and you know say i'll just come out when it's over with it's just not that way mm -hmm. you know you you can't be one extreme or the other you've got to be you know middle of the road like krista always says yeah. medium there's peace in being middle of the road there's yep. peace in not having this extreme or that extreme right um and so and and the bible knows that because the bible actually balances itself out it shows you to store up and be wise and it also says um to not store up and put your tre all your treasures here put your treasures in your loved ones put your treasures in um things that you do for people and helping people out um and you know, be wise, but don't don't worry about it. Don't stress. Don't panic. One of Krista's um, people that she watches on YouTube, uh, Mike Winger, he is a perfect example of finding middle ground, medium. Um, he's an amazing guy. He just gives you both sides, and he puts it right there for you to figure out mm -hmm. and and look at it and be wise about you know what you're choosing to do. You know, mm -hmm. you don't have to walk around full of hate all your life because you're so ticked off because somebody took your parking spot or, you know, the last box of Mrs. Cubinson's dressing yeah. or whatever, you know? Mm -hmm. So we're, we're called to have peace and not to, you know, get carried away with, with stocking up stuff, you know? And that, believe it or not, this actually is not very much stuff. Much more than what we normally buy. <laughs> but we thought it'd we be good. We just got some big items and yeah. some good sales. And it, <laughs> we figured it'd be good to do the video for Money Monday with 
exactly. the groceries. So, and our next verse is Hebrews 13, 5. Um, Keep your life free from love of money and be content with what you have. For he said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. Yep. So, isn't that a strange um, verse to be bringing up on Money Monday? Keep your life free from the love of money. And often people think they misquote that, uh, another verse, uh, that says the love of money is the root of all evil and they'll say money is the root of all evil. Money is just a tool. Mm-hmm. Money is just like a brick to buy a, or to build a house. Mm-hmm. You can throw that brick and hurt somebody or you can build a house with it. Same with money. Money can be used for good or for bad. Money is not evil, it's just an item. But yeah. the love of money, in other words, Be safe, be wise, be smart, build your savings, um, plan out your goals, but don't put your whole heart into it so that when something goes wrong, you're devastated. Realize that there's a bigger plan out there and there's someone who cares about you out there. If you've put your life, um, if you've given your life over to Christ, He will never leave you. He will protect you. He will get you through those things. He doesn't want you being stupid about it, (laughs) but he does. um, He wants you to be wise, but at the same time, there's things you you don't have control over, and God can take care of that for you. He's going to protect you. Absolutely. 100%. So that's all we have for today. Yeah. That's our Money Monday. So now we're going to have to go and put all this away. Yeah, that's... So wish us luck. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> While we wait for the video to download, but uh, we, we will put this all away. But we will see you next time. Yep. Hey, and Kristen. yep. And if we don't see you before Thanksgiving, have a wonderful Thanksgiving, wonderful Thanksgiving. everyone. We love you. See you guys.